So here we have another video of showing a more efficient way to fill an entire Minecraft world with bees. Um, you'll see instead of an 11 by 11 square, I've managed to reduce the size of the machine to 6 by 9. Now let me just explain how this works. You'll notice uh, there's two copies of this little panel with a tall stack of command blocks. Now there's two colors of command blocks here. There's the orange one. The orange one contains a command that's activated by redstone. The green ones are called chain command blocks and they activate when the command block before them activates. So you see the arrows on the sides of the, alarm, of the command blocks. They show where the next command block should go. So when this orange one activates, this green one will activate next, and then this one, and then this one. And so these four will trigger in that order. Now the advantage of this over the other uh, bee spawning contraption is, besides it being smaller, it's actually more reliable as well. Let me just explain how it works. Um, these two blocks this tower, the one containing this tower, and the one containing this tower, they are identical. So let's just scoot over to this one and see how it operates. No, we'll scoot, sorry, scoot over to this one, see how it operates. So the first, the first command block there, it creates a clone, but not of itself. It actually creates a clone of this command block over there. So when this tower activates, the first thing it does is copy this block, this block over there. The reason for that is, if it copies itself, it can copy itself in an activated state. And then when you switch on the redstone, the redstone's already switched on. And so it doesn't, it might not do anything. But now it's copying this identical clone of itself, which is not activated. And then the next block here is to actually set a block to place a redstone torch right there on that empty square there, which will then start this this uh, this grid going. Okay, and that grid, of course, um, creates a copy of this panel here, which is empty at the moment. But by the time this activates, this tower will have already copied this over here. So this creates a copy, not of itself, a copy of a copy of itself further across. And then this one will be activated by this redstone torch to create another copy. And so you'll see copies of these spreading down in that diagonal direction across the sea over there. In the meantime, the next two in this tower, um, what they do is they the second one, this this one here, creates a copy of this over here. And then the final block on top places a redstone torch ready to start this whole chain off. And this one is, it's these two blocks are like the top two blocks there. They will just create copies of themselves, copies of, they'll create a copy of the next one over there and the next one over there. So what we will see, it should be quite reliable because uh, the copies will be in the neutral switched off state and then they will be switched on rather than copies being already switched on and then perhaps not activating because they're already switched on. And we won't need to make a flickering, we won't need to have a flickering on off switch continually pummeling these command blocks. So the whole thing will work more efficiently as well. And of course, the rest of the circuit is pretty much the same. You've got this, uh, this, this circuit that will flicker on and off but only when this redstone is activated which will happen well for most of these which will happen when the redstone torch is placed there by the previous thing for the very first one i've got this long chain of redstone repeaters the reason i've done that is so that we can press the button and then we've got time to fly over towards those mountains before the copies start triggering so that we can see all these see all these bee cloners approaching. So let's switch it on now and fly over there. Ready? One, two, and away we go. And you can see it's starting there. The redstone is moving through those repeaters. I'm going to fly over there quickly. Let's turn around and see what's happening. 
it's almost it's there we go there we go there we go there we go we've got these clones appearing now the the boards the redstone will only activate if we're actually near there and it does it in some random order and because of all the bees as well it's going to very quickly overwhelm the power of my computer here so let's um let's scoot down there closer to the, where the action is i'll fly across here and you'll see these are these are going to be copying and carving straight into these mountain ranges here you can I'm not sure if you can get the Minecraft audio in this video, but I can certainly hear it. Um, I've made it copy a whole tip. Look at that. Look at that gravel falling down. It's, uh, there's a lot of lag going on because there's so much action taking place. Zillions of bees appearing, of course, as those, as those circuits trigger and switch on the, switch on the, as, as, the, as that circuit switches on and off and triggers the, the dispenser to spit out bees. Because we fill, I fill them all with bee eggs. Let's fly through these mountains after our after our bee spawners and see what's happening. Now, what's happened here is this water is well. Not only has the water been cloned, but it's also wrecking the redstone. It's wrecking the redstone circuits, and so the trouble with this bee spawner is it stops. It can stop whenever it carves a hole in a mountain that causes water to pour down. And so you can see that's happened here. Some of these have survived. Uh, this one's still going, but not the one next to it. Um, let's fly back there and see. Let's fly, let's fly back over to the ocean and see what's happening over there. There we go. But generally, this is a lot more. That's carving a path under 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 the ground there. Um, can't see much because it's deep down underground there uh, but over here we should see okay over here you can see it's starting to carve, starting to okay you'll notice we've only the the rows of bees have stopped there the reason for that is as I said Minecraft is only actually doing the calculations for stuff that's in range so you can see as I fly through the air over this thing you see the bees appearing in the view uh, Minecraft is realizing there should be bees there and it's making them appear on the screen um, as we get close to that corner so that's about as far as the diagonal has gone because we flew away from that we flew away from that that spot we flew away from those those items before they had a chance to copy themselves all the way along that diagonal uh, before these rows here had a chance to start forming as well um, but as we get close to that, you'll see it's starting to place blocks again, and those, and it's, it's it'll be making more and more copies of those panels as it goes across. It is really grinding to a halt. You can I can really sense the computer's doing a lot, a lot of work here. Um, so what you can see also because of the angle this has been placed, it's it's going to fill not just a quarter of the world, but pretty much over well. It's, it's over three-eighths, certainly. Um, we could, I could, of course, make it fill the entire world by building a similar construct that went the other way, but I didn't do that. Um, now you can see, you can see the road, you can see these columns of bees starting to form and cut into the land there. This one is going to cut into the forest over here. Um, one funny thing with these bees, if I just, if I, if I, if I can teleport, if I can travel quickly back to the origin island, I want to show you what happens. Uh, we saw this in the other video, but it's pretty fun. Um, what happens if I actually start attacking these bees? Uh, they're very vindictive bees. Okay, I'll switch my game mode to to survival. I'll punch a bee if I can. Okay, I've punched a bee. Every bee in the vicinity is going to get furious at me now. I'll die very quickly. And then you'll see what happens when I respawn. That's if these bees actually do attack me. They're taking so much of the computer processing power that it's uh, crazy, really. There. They're going for it. Whoa, what happened there? Okay, so now... Come 
on, Beers. You can do better than this. All right. Nearly there. Three hearts to go. Two and a half. I can't even move. I press W to walk and, and nothing happens because there's so much else going on in this game. A, a million bees, a million bits of redstone, uh, the dispensers spinning out even more bees, and half a heart to go, come on bees, you can do this, you can do this, I believe in you. Okay, now let's respawn. The spawn point is actually on an island a bit far away from, uh, a, bit, a bit far away from where that all took place. It's over here. Um, but there you can see these construction and look at all these bees the bees are still cheesed off at me and they come all the way over to the spawn point just to attack me all over again this happens a lot faster because because minecraft doesn't have to calculate the redstone and the clothing and so forth respawn again let's see if the bees are still upset these bees are oh but those ones are i don't know why they're still so furious Maybe bees only get a chance. I don't know why that these bees are all still so furious. They've already killed me twice. I think what do they want? Blood? You can see how an infinite number of bees could make the game quite unplayable for a player in survival mode if they just accidentally tap one. I'm just doing nothing, bees. I'm innocent. You can leave me alone. These ones at least seem to be satisfied. They're just hovering there. These ones seem to be satisfied. I wonder if... Oh no, they're angry again. I'm out of here. They're still after me. And you can't really escape from these. I can swim under the water. But I'll have to come up for, to the surface eventually. And they'll be there waiting. Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to get away from these. No matter how many times I respawn, I'll still be surrounded by a cloud of angry bees. Look at them. All their eyes have turned red. They'll be after me in half a second. Let's go underwater for a tick. Okay, I'm now underwater. And you can see the bees there floating on top of the water waiting for me to pop up. Which, of course, I have to eventually. Are those bees actually swimming underwater? That's hardly fair. I don't think... This, this world has now become pretty unplayable, unless I switch back to creative mode, of course. Uh, then hopefully the bees will be satisfied. Alright, that's enough for this video. Uh, so you've seen how to make the bee spawner a little bit more compact, a little bit more reliable, by instead of the panels creating copies of themselves they create copies of an already existing copy which is therefore not yet activated and therefore and then activating that copy activating the copy that oh what am i saying okay a copies b to c and then activates B, which copies C to D, then activates C, which copies D to E, which act and then activates D, and so on. And so the whole thing works very smoothly. Oh, look at all the bees. They're all leaving now. Bye, bees.